Atomic tests. Some time ago, they were regarded as a demonstration of military strength. Today, it's more a kind of muscle flexing in some countries on the fringes of the international community. The Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, CTBT, is an essential component for nuclear disarmament. Behind this treaty stands the UN organization CTBTO. It's working double-tracked, politically and technically. Technically, I think we, uh, we're pretty on board. I think uh, we have a team of uh, dedicated scientists and experts that are working tirelessly uh, to put in place all the technical means. Uh, I think we've uh, developed an international data center that was able to detect all the relevant events. The CTBTO relies on 300 measuring stations of many kinds, positioned all over the globe. Their seismic systems and the very accurate radionuclide measuring stations, one of those was built near Freiburg. Eine nukleare Explosion erzeugt ja neben einer Explosion Hitzestrahlung und äh, Direktstrahlung. A nuclear explosion not only creates warmth and direct radiation, but also fission products. These fission products go up into the atmosphere and can be detected from thousands of kilometers away with radionuclide measuring stations. The measuring stations working for the CTBTO are very, very delicate. It's the most delicate measuring method there is for radioactivity. We can detect just a few micro becquerel in a cubic meter of air. In comparison, we look at the air inside a football stadium and detect one atomic decay per second. Stellen. Man nimmt eine Luftmenge in der Größe eines Fußballstadions und da würde dann ein Atom pro Sekunde zerfallen. Creating this worldwide web of measuring stations was one of the most important jobs for the CTBTO. It's a mammoth project with German participation. We could, could depend already on existing seismic stations because there was a net network we could use this network we had to collect uh, the uh, data put them together for the states because all these data always belong to the states not to the organization everybody was helpful because we came with nothing in our hands. Today, the CTBTO can rely upon a nearly gapless observation system, and it's working. Secret tests were detected. This creates trust. The timeliness of distributing this information to our member state, to their satisfaction, and beyond the expectation of the international community with regard to the status of the treaty itself. I think that's one of the biggest challenges that we've managed to, to overcome, to show that this treaty is verifiable, that this secretary has indeed fulfilled its technical mandate. And I think we've overcome that, uh, that challenge by showing to the international community that not only that we're ready, we are a key element, and then the necessity of the entry into force of the CTBT is an urgency. Eight small countries need to sign the treaty to make it legally binding. Germany will continue to support the work of the CTBTO technically and politically.